we've ever seen. Apple unveils new smartphones, and that's not all. After months of rumors, the company is entering the wearable tech market. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Beth Haynes. Apple made the much-anticipated announcement of new gadgets today. There are two new iPhones, a smartwatch, and a new way to pay with your smartphone. Joining us now is tech expert Dan Thompson with Clearest Networks. You're like a kid in a candy shop right now. <laughs> we love this day. We love these announcements. There's a lot of speculation and talk leading up to them. He described it as the most beautiful phone. I don't think of technology. Yeah. That, that's not a descriptive I would use. But let's talk about it. Let's jump let's right into the iPhone, not only 6. 6, but 6 Plus. Yes. Yes, yeah. So beautiful is very definitely a way that Apple describes its own <laughs> product. So uh, while you and I may focus on functionality, they yep. want to make sure everyone knows that it's an attractive device and it is you know quite honestly it is a very attractive device so uh, lots of cool things to get excited about uh, the event was probably one of the most hyped events in recent years uh, and so you know in a new a new device a new chapter as Tim Cook called it for the Apple company uh, which is the Apple watch which uh -huh. we all will probably still refer to as the iWatch yeah and we'll jump to that in a moment let's stay on that the iPhone 6 and the the 6 plus Plus, what separates these two phones? I know that they have uh, larger screens, thinner bodies, yep. upgraded cameras, uh, but what are the, the different features? So the big differentiators between the 6 and the 6 Plus really are screen size. So the 6 is 4.7 inch screen, the uh, 6 Plus is a 5.5 inch screen. Uh, so they have jumped into the multiple size market, uh, which is good. That's something that Apple held off on for forever. Uh, the other thing that's different is going to be battery life. Yeah. With a bigger case, you can fit more battery. I'm glad to see Apple took advantage of that. Uh, also some nuanced things about the cameras are different between the two phones. Uh, namely, image stabilization is done through the lens on the 6 Plus. It's done through software on the 6. Uh, average user probably won't care anything about that. If you're a photo <laughs> geek, you're going to go with the 6 Plus. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk about this new Apple Pay service. It's yes. a mobile wallet payment service. What does that mean? That's right. So, great question. So, if you've been to McDonald's in the last, I don't know, two years or uh, gas stations where you can just tap your card on the gas pump or you can tap your card on the payment uh, center thing right there at McDonald's uh, what they have done is integrated that same technology into their phones and the iWatch as well or the <laughs> Apple watch yeah that's gonna be hard to break <laughs> um, but so essentially what you you do is you'll just have your phone and you will tap it to the device uh -huh. that will act as your credit card um, and there are a whole lot of discussions that need to happen around security well, I see the look question. on your face yeah. yes. how safe um, is this right so uh, the question obviously that's out there is uh, is this information backed up to iCloud uh, which means it's vulnerable to the same celebrity nude photo problem that we were just talking about last mm -hmm. week uh, you know what how are they protecting the card numbers all that sort of thing the only comment that Apple made today was that it was perfectly secure by their words um, but of course you know at Apple events they never really dive super deep into the underlying technology they just want to kind of talk about fit and finish okay. um, so hopefully they'll talk more about that in the coming weeks all right and I felt to mention the new iPhones do come with that Apple Pay service. Yes. Um, that's a new feature there. Let's move to the smart watch. Apple's calling it simply Apple Watch. It's described as a comprehensive health and fitness device. Yes. Are we like a Fitbit? What are we? Well, yeah, so more to more compare, akin to the, the Moto 360. So it is a full functioning watch looking device. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not nearly as cool, I would say, as what people were hoping it was going to oh. look like. Uh, it looks more like the traditional smart watches that are out there today. However, uh, I will say this, uh, Apple has crammed a ton of technology inside this little package. So from that perspective, uh, it's an interesting device. People who love Apple products are going to like this device. Is that why it's so expensive? Uh, I'm <laughs> imagining so. Yes, there is, there's so much sensor technology, uh, the sapphire crystal glass that covers the thing. There's just a lot of technology built into this device. What we don't know yet, though, uh, is exactly what you can do with just just the watch and okay. what you have to have the phone for. It's clear to use it uh, at its full capacity, you have to have your phone 
phone nearby. Okay. So like if you want to receive text messages and that sort of thing, you have to have your phone. Near. Almost like a um, hotspot. And by the way, it's three hundred fifty dollars. Yes. When will it hit the market? Well, so they just said early next year. We don't know exactly yet, okay. but it'll be um, you know I'm imagining first quarter next year. We crammed a lot into this small little segment. <laughs> no, no. I know. Just like the Apple Watch. That's or the right. Watch. The Apple Watch. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll see you next week. We'll yes. hash this out a little bit more. But thanks so much for coming You're on. You're welcome. Talking about these new um, features and and new gadgets that Apple has introduced. We're coming right back after this.